Now that we've added some volunteer roles, and we've also activated the Sites feature within Salesforce, we can test out a registration. Uh, so to get back to that form, what we're going to do is we're going to launch Setup. Within Setup, we're going to type SIT to get to Sites. Uh, this is the page we're looking for. And by clicking Volunteers, we're able to get to the setup for, 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 uh, for volunteers on the sites page. What you're seeing here is this is the domain name that we're going to be using. And for the test, what we're going to do is to use the sign up, FS. So it's, uh, it's, it's this domain name with this appended to the end. Uh, and you do need a slash between them. So it's uh, force51.com, uh, and then it's slash GW sign up. And this is the form that comes up. Actually, you first have to click sign up here because the form actually results in uh, uh, the form that we you know shows the open positions. Clicking sign up, we get this form. What you're seeing is an asterisk, which are these the required fields. These are not. Uh, there's also this interesting field called volunteer organization, which is not a lookup field, just basic information um, that gets captured in the record. And I'll show you where that shows up. In the meantime, what we do is we click sign up. And we're presented with a thank you. To verify the sign up, I've gone into the, just in this case, this is the Nonprofit Success Pack, uh, clicked on the Contacts tab, and what I'm looking for is, let's look at those new this week. And what you're seeing is we have both uh, Terry and Tony. Now, we just added Tony, so let me click on him, and you'll see that the uh, he was added to the Angle household, uh, and we're seeing additional information here that shows, um, and you're seeing, let me show you this one just real quick, at the very bottom, it does show volunteer organization, um, and shows that it picked it up. We've got a web sign up dates, lots of information kind of filled, and again, we can talk through kind of how that works, but in the meantime, let me just show you the related field uh, by looking at, um, the history, we're seeing both a, a, a web sign up, we're also seeing he was added to the campaign. So lots of stuff happened while we made that, uh, that registration. In addition, several emails were created. So this is looking at the fact that we have uh, a registration, a new volunteer has signed up. We've also received a notification uh, in this case, that they signed up for a shift, and you could see the additional information. So you'd receive that as an automatic uh, process within the volunteers page that we were looking at. Also, for the person who volunteered, here's what they're going to see. They're going to see a thank you for signing up to be a, uh, a volunteer. They're also going to say thank you for volunteering uh, on this specific shift. So what they're doing is showing your you're signed up to be. So we can next step now is going to be talking about how we actually can modify that information. But good start.